Hey guys, 23rd vlog of the year. Today, I decided that Monday is going to be Childhood Story Monday. So, uh, Pet Peeve Tuesday is tomorrow, Show and Tell Wednesday is two days from now. See? This is cool. I'm getting some, I'm getting the theme going every day. And then the weekends can just be for whatever. I've decided. Um, anyway, so this story is going to be from, uh, when I was 15. Uh, I was really into the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. And I didn't realize, I was homeschooled at the time, so I didn't realize that normal people don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! I quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh! when I went to school, like real school, and I was, I was, uh, you know, sitting there in the cafeteria, and I was like, none of these people play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, I'm weird! And I was like, uh, man, those cute girls over there, I don't think they play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to sit over there and pretend like I'm normal. And that's actually what I did. I sat at like an all-girl table. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Anyway, um, but uh, let's talk about something that's not as impressive. My time spent playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I was, uh, I played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. I was a certified judge from Upper Deck. I got really into it. I was in tournaments all the time. I was in, you know, ah, okay. I was, I did really good in tournaments too. Okay, um, but anyway, I was in Yu-Gi-Oh League at Toys R Us. This is how bad it was. Okay, and um, yeah, I uh, <laughs> and when I say normal people don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm not bashing you if you play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just saying like the average Joe, like you know, I thought that like because some of my homeschool friends played it. And so I just thought, like, this was normal. Like, everyone plays these nerdy games. No, they don't. It, you know, certain type of people play those games. And uh, so, anyway, I'm not bashing you if you play it. I just wanted to clear that up. So if you're like, but I play Yu-Gi-Oh! No, keep doing it. You know, that's awesome. I love trading card games. Go for it. You know, I still got all my Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. But, shh. Okay, uh... Anyway, I was at Yu-Gi-Oh! League, and I, I'd i been there, like, every Saturday morning for months. Like, it was the spring before 10th grade, before I went to school, so I was a freshman. I was 15, and I had, I wore vests, and I had gel in my hair, and I had braces. Yeah, I try to imagine all that. Um, anyway, so I, wore, I wore vests. I would wear, like, a t-shirt, and then I would wear a vest over it, and it was awful. I don't know how I got a girlfriend when I was in 8th grade, because that's what I looked like. I did have a girlfriend in 8th grade. I don't know what she was thinking. Okay, um, so, uh, she cheated on me, though, so there you go. I would have cheated on me, too. I was an idiot. Um, <laughs> that's the story for another time. Okay, it, at Yu-Gi-Oh! League, I sat down at a table, like I always did, and there were, like, these uh, unwrapped booster packs on the ground in my feet. I didn't think anything of it at the time. I was just like, oh, somebody bought some packs and opened them here, you know, type of thing, because that's what I was doing. I had just bought some packs, and I was opening them at the table. So um, then, like, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! League upper deck representative or something like that came up to me, and like, like I said, I had been there every week. wasn't a problem. And she came up to me, and she was like, uh, are you 18? And I was like, uh, uh, no, you know, like with the gray goose, are you 18? And I was like, no, I'm not 18. And she was like, uh, are your parents here? And I said, no, no, they dropped me off. And she was like, okay, well, according to Upper Deck rules, if you're not 18, your parents aren't here, you can't be here, so you must leave. And I was like, what? And like, especially looking back, but this was my first thought. I was like, what if I was 16 and I drove myself? I have to leave? That's ridiculous. And, just, you know, it just shows that uh, companies like Upper Deck and Sony and all these freaking, I don't know, they just, they don't know what they're talking about. They do, they sit there in their corporate offices and they don't know what normal life is like. They don't know that 16-year-old kids can drive themselves to Yu-Gi-Oh! League and not have their parents there or anything. Anyway, so, uh, and she was like, I was like, what, uh, okay, you know, I wasn't gonna fight her. What was I gonna do? Like, you can't make me leave. Um... I was a quiet homeschool 15 year old, so of course I was going to do as I was told. And she said, We'll get an employee to, you know, call your folks and have them take you home. And I was like, Okay. Then this douchebag comes out. He's like, Hey, bud, let's go call your folks. 
And I was like, you don't call me Bud. Like, I didn't like him the first, the, like, on, on sight, you know. So I get up, and he looks underneath the table, and he's like, what are those? And uh, they were, uh, you know, empty booster packs. And I was like, oh, I don't, uh, they were there when I got there. And he was like, they weren't there when you got there. You're coming with me. And I was like, what is your problem, dude? Like, they're, you know, unwrapped booster packs. Then he told me the store manager, who was also a clueless idiot, and then uh, then it hit me. They were accusing me of shoplifting. They thought that was my fridge, if you heard that. It makes weird noises. It's like 40 years old. I'm not even kidding. It's 40 years old. Um, and they, they were accusing me of shoplifting. They were saying that I, I took those booster packs off the shelf, put them underneath the table, and opened them, pocketed the cards, and just left the trash there like an idiot. Sorry, if you're going to shoplift, you destroy the evidence. Anyway. And so, uh, like I said, I had a bag, a visible bag of purchased merchandise with me. Let me just, with a receipt. And uh, so, they were, so the store manager was like, what, what, what were you doing? And I was like, oh, you guys think I stole those? And I was like, no, they were there when I got there, and why would I steal cards when I bought some right here? And he was like, you know, like, like, good point. It's like, do you have any common sense, you idiot? I was a homeschooled 15-year-old, and I just owned you in an exercise of, you know, rhetoric. I don't know. And so he was like, uh, you got a receipt for those? And I was like, yes. And I, like, pulled it out. Or, like, I, I was going to pull it out. And he was like, no, don't, don't worry about it. And I was like, I could have lied about the receipt. These could all be stolen goods. What a crappy store manager. Anyway, so he called my mom, and she came up and picked me up, and I never went there ever again. I never went to that Toys R Us ever again. Because I was like, these guys are idiots. They're stupid. And this was this was some, the, the employee that, like, you know, was like, you're coming with me. Like, he was some hotshot 19-year-old or something. Probably hated his life because he's working at Toys R Us on a Saturday morning with a bunch of nerds playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, so he decided to take it out on one of us. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's my entertaining story about being accused of shoplifting Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Toys R Us. And uh, speaking of Toys R Us, hope that place closes down. What? Okay. <laughs> Just because of one incident, I'm going to hold a grudge for the rest of my life. Okay. Well, see you guys tomorrow for Pet Peeve Tuesday. I'm going to rant about something and get angry. See you all later. Bye.